Stakeholder Engagement Process, Charon Pokapon Group. Stakeholders are essential to running a business. Comprehensive stakeholder engagement is therefore essential, and is incorporated into the development of strategies, for balancing the organization's operations, and stakeholder expectations, as well as building a good relationship, with all groups of stakeholders in a systematic way. Charon Pokapon Group has therefore developed guidelines, for enhancing the efficiency of long-term engagement processes with all stakeholders, both within and outside the organization. It adheres to the International Guidelines, AA 1000 Stakeholder Engagement Standard, under three key principles. 1. Inclusivity 2. Materiality and 3. Responsiveness The details of the process are as follows. 1. Stakeholder Identification Stakeholders are those individuals, groups of individuals that affect, and or could be affected by business operations. They help define value for the organization. Therefore, it is imperative for organizations to understand and engage with stakeholders on issues related to both activities and decision-making processes. The organization must prepare the stakeholder mapping to visualize all stakeholders whether in any process. This will make it easier to identify the stakeholders that the organization needs to focus on. Charon Pokapon Group has classified internal and external stakeholders into 11 groups as follows. 1. Employees and families. 2. Customers and consumers. 3. Farmers. 4. Business partners. 5. Communities and society. 6. Government. 7. Shareholders and investors. 8. Creditors. 9. NGOs. 10. Media. 11. Competitors. 2. Classification and Priorities of Stakeholders Organizations should categorize and prioritize stakeholders, based on two dimensions, for example, the level of interest, and power of stakeholders, obtained from a business or its activities, which can be divided into four groups as shown in the figure. From the diagram it can be explained that 1. A group with low power and has low interest, is a group that the organization has to periodically monitor information. 2. A group with low power but high interest, is a group that the organization must try to provide information regularly, or keep them informed, to create a better understanding of the organization. 3. A group with high powered but low interest, is a group in which the organization, must try to maintain a level of satisfaction with the organization, or keep them satisfied. Information should be provided from time to time. 4. A powerful group and has high interest, is a group that affects both decisions and actions of the organization, including keeping up with the news of the organization all the time. Therefore, this group is a group of stakeholders that the organization must manage closely, and create a high level of confidence. 3. Identifying and prioritizing issues. Organizations must prioritize the issues, that stakeholders are interested in, because the level of importance of an issue, plays a role in determining, how intensely and quickly, the organization should respond to that issue. It will be considered in two dimensions. 1. Significance to the organization. 2. Influence on stakeholders. 4. Development Stakeholder Engagement Plan. Stakeholder Engagement Plan was developed, based on the results of prioritization and issues, related to stakeholder groups. In developing an engagement plan, the organization must assess stakeholder competence, before engaging in engagement activities, such as understanding the topic of participation activities, to ensure the effectiveness of such activities. 5. Monitoring, Reporting, and Communication Charon Pokapon Group conducts monitoring the quality of engagement process, by conducting an annual stakeholder perception survey, and reporting the survey results, including the implementation of the stakeholder engagement plan, through the CP Group Sustainability Report, and Stakeholder Engagement Report, or communication in other formats, as appropriate for each stakeholder group. From the above-mentioned process, it can be seen that, properly conducted engagement process between stakeholders and the organization, will help create a competitive advantage, because stakeholder understanding, and confidence builds immunity when problems arise. Stakeholders will have confidence that, the organization will be able to deal with such problems well.